Hi, my name's Rachel and I'm from Healthy Waterways and I'm here today on the beautiful, iconic Brisbane River. Healthy Waterways runs a clean-up program and we've been running that program for about 12 years. And what it entails is a couple of tinnies on the rivers picking up rubbish, floating rubbish and also rubbish that gets trapped in the banks and in the shoreline. So today you're joining us because you want to run your own clean-up. And we're very proud to have you part of this greater effort that we're all working towards to help keep our waterways and our oceans free of rubbish. Did you know that 80% of our rubbish that ends up in our waterways comes from a land-based source? Usually what happens is rubbish that's collected in the streets and the roads gets washed into the stormwater system, out through our stormwater drains and empties into our creeks and rivers. If you're thinking about doing a clean-up, a street or a road is a really great place to start. But there's a few things that you should consider before going out and starting your clean-up. So what are you going to wear when you're doing your clean-up? So what I usually like to wear is a long sleeve shirt, a hat and maybe some sunglasses to make sure that I'm being sun safe. And then maybe some long pants and covered in shoes. So when you're doing clean-up, you always want to have a pair of gloves on. This is just to make sure that you don't get yucky stuff on your hands. You always want to wear a high-vis vest when you're doing a clean-up, particularly if you're on a road or on a street. High-vis vest allows cars to see us really easily, so it's really, really important when you're working on a road. When you're working on a road or a street, you always want to have a parent with you or an adult. So don't just go out and start doing a clean-up on a road by yourself. That's really dangerous. So what happens is when the turtles are swimming out in the ocean, they're always looking for food and they don't know the difference between a piece of plastic and a piece of food. So they just swallow whatever they see. Unfortunately, when they swallow a piece of plastic, it goes into their gut and it causes lots of damage. So the turtle is no longer able to duck dive down to feed. It's no longer able to do what it would normally do in life. And it gets bloated and, and swells up and it floats to the surface and eventually it dies. Morton Bay is actually internationally recognised as a critical habitat for migrating seabirds and we have a huge variety of species that use Moreton Bay all year round for food and shelter. In Moreton Bay we are so lucky because we've got a huge variety of beautiful animals and marine life. We've got dolphins and whales and sea turtles and do you know we've even got some seals in Moreton Bay? We've also got a huge diversity of reef fish and other fish that people love to get out on boats and fish and catch and take home to eat. We've got thousands of seabirds and wader birds that come and visit Moreton Bay every single year for breeding and feeding. And if you ever want to, you can just go for a drive out to Moreton Bay or head out in a boat and you'll see the wonderful variety of sea life and bird life that we are very, very lucky to have so close to home. Healthy Waterways is all about working together to create positive change for the future. And we want to thank you so much for being part of this project and for helping us to keep our waterways and our oceans clean. Thank you very much.